Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Whatever time you're joining me from, this is Catherine Gallagher, CMG Talk. I thought I would pop on and just check in with you. This is about starting your day the best way. I wonder how you start your day. This is a brief check-in just to find out. Have you began your day in the best way? Are you doing your best, being your best. And what does that look like for you? Do you wake up and do you do things like meditation or journaling or mindfulness? Do you wake up refreshed? I wonder if you spend the first few moments of your waking time Reflecting, decluttering your mind, orientating yourself, checking in on the day. Do you look outside? Welcome. Welcome, Wednesday. Are you constantly on a rush? Or are you breathing in? Are you mindfully present in your day? Do you appreciate each day? And the people and the times you have throughout the day, do you take the time to show appreciation and gratitude? Keeping your mindset and your mental health topped up each day helps you to be resilient. Showing that appreciation and gratitude by saying I appreciate that or thank you, that means a lot. Thanks. Or welcome. You're welcome. Cheers. Acknowledging. Be visible. See other people are visible. Nourishing your body and your mind. Be present and be available. And if need be, take time to just be able to regroup, de-stress, refocus, unwind, chill out. And how do you do that? Is it mindfulness? Meditation? Pilates? Running? Brisk walking? Being out in nature? having that phone call with your bestie? Is it about writing in your journal? Sitting in silence? And do you have things that you do throughout the day that you really enjoy? I've just had the best breakfast. (laughs) I have. I've just had the best breakfast. I don't know if you have listened to my previous episode. I put on an episode after, uh, it was a week, not a long time, but I had been poorly and I put on an episode saying, sorry, I haven't been in touch. It's just I haven't been very well. And I'm recovering, yes. And, you know, obviously I'm fit to be working, if you like. But I've been giving myself some extra treats and had a really nice breakfast this morning. 
and just taking some time to take better care of you through certain times makes all the difference, doesn't it? Hydration is key. Good sleep is so important too. I'm going to be doing an online talk very soon. Watch out for that. You might want to listen in, to drop in. There are many opportunities throughout the day we can recharge, energise. It's important to de-stress, to unwind. Even gentle stretches can make the difference if you feel tense. Unwind and release that tension. Take a moment. Step away. And say, this is a good talk or this is a talk that I feel is challenging the moment. Let's regroup in five or ten or I feel we're talking through or around this right now. Let's come back tomorrow. Let's talk about this after lunch or after dinner. After we've had time to think about it and write on it. I feel we've really made inroads in this at work. Let's move this forward after we've taken some positive steps and actions here. You see, procrastination is the enemy of progress. When we're stuck, anxious, feel low, feel down, it's signalling. These emotions signal to our body something important. If we're putting off, deferring, avoiding, at some point identifying what needs to happen and then taking that movement, that action, releases and allows us to feel as if we are taking charge. Action and inaction. Both are very important parts to play. Knowing when to step up and take action is so important. If we stay inactive, And we're supposed to be taking action. It builds up tension, frustration. And often we feel a lot of emotion, don't we, building up pressure. Because we know that what we're doing is not working. That's one of the questions I often ask my clients. How is it working for you right now? And they go, what? (laughs) What you're doing? And they go, well, obviously not well. It's not working well, is it? Because this is why I'm here. And I'll say, aha. So what next? What next? And we identify the first step. The first step. Motion, take the first step to get started. What do you need to do right now that you've been putting off? Is it about self-care? Is it about dealing with something that you've been stuck with? Because it's unfair or it's unpleasant or you're fearful because you've got limiting belief systems but you're telling yourself you can't, it won't. Is 
in life, we get what we go for. We get what we go for. Life does not owe us anything. I learned that a long time ago. We have to be in pursuit of things in life. And we have to want, but also know what we need. And then ultimately we usually get what we need, not necessarily always what we want. Because I want this. And I'll say, yes, but do you need this? Is it good for you? We can have both. Sometimes we do get both, don't we? I wanted it, I needed it, and I got it. And the rainbows were out. It was all good. Sunshine. Think about right now, your day, where you are, whether it's the end of the day, you're reflecting on it. It's the beginning of the day and you're starting it. Have an amazing day. If you're beginning your day, if it's the end of the day, enjoy your relaxation, unwinding and de-stressing. Good mental health, it's been great checking in with you. This is Catherine Gallagher and this is CMG Talk. As always, if you want to drop a message to me, it's stepupcmg at xln.co.uk. If you're interested in coming along to any of my talks or classes or trainings, if you'd like a one-to-one, then message me at my email and subscribe and you can be informed of anything that's about to come up. If you enjoy and don't want to miss out, subscribe. If you're interested in the episodes in this podcast, like, share and download. Thanks for listening. Take good care. This is this is me, CMG Talk, Catherine Gallagher. Until next time.